For this video we're going to look at basic quoting. It's important to quote accurately so that you are neither working at a loss nor charging more than you need. Whilst it is important to earn money, it is also important to be relatively affordable. We will look at the pricing of a simple fire poker tidy. These hold a fire poker horizontally on a half. As with my hourly rate video, I'll be using Excel, but you could also do it on paper. Start by breaking your piece into its individual parts and create four sections. Part, task, quantity and time. The task column is the list of techniques needed to create the part. The quantity column tells you how many times you'll need to use that technique to create the part. The time column tells you how long that technique will take. The first tasks will be the same for all the parts, measuring, marking and cutting your stock. While it may seem petty to charge for these tasks, they will add up and you can lose up to an hour a day depending on your workload if you don't charge for them. With the basics done, start breaking down how you'll make each part and how many times you will need to repeat that task. Once that is done, figure out based on your experience how long each task will take to carry out. I do this in minutes rather than seconds or hours. It's important to remember to also time the straightening, cleaning and oiling or painting of each part. I still occasionally forget to do this myself. If you think that I'm overestimating the times needed for each task, don't forget that you have to heat the metal up in the first place, go to the anvil, pick up your tools, find the right spot on the metal, etc. Which all adds up. Make sure to multiply each time estimate by how many times the task is to be repeated, and then add all of these times together. Once you've broken down the tasks for the different parts, add up all of the time totals and divide by 60 to get the hours which the entire piece will take to make. Multiply these hours by your hourly rate, which we discussed in last week's video, which I think was around £25 an hour. This will give you the labour cost. Add the materials cost to this. Even if you get your steel for free, it's a good idea to charge something because you still have to handle it, store it, etc. Not much steel is used in this poker tidy, so I'm just putting a nominal £10. Add the two up. Then comes the awkward bit. Add a profit. This can be 10, 20 or 30%. That gives you the final price to charge the customer. It is your business's share of the money, which you'll be able to reinvest in tools or equipment. If you don't charge it, you'll end up using your own money to do all of this. Thanks for watching this video, and please feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Please also subscribe for a new video every week.